Boy Genius, the record album review. Let's chat about it. Hey, friends, what's going on? John here from What's Spinning here tonight to chat about this latest album, this debut full length album from Boy Genius, aka Miss Phoebe Bridgers, Julian Baker, Lucy Dacus. They came together a few years ago and dropped their self titled Boy Genius EP, which at the time I did not review because I'm an idiot, my god. Uh, it is easily one of the better indie EPs of the last few years, and while I didn't review it formally on the channel, when it came time to do my top EPs of the year, you're damn right it made the list. It went pretty high as well. Now, I don't know why, but I always kind of thought that this was going to be a one-and-done thing from uh, Phoebe, uh, Julian, and Lucy. I don't know why I had that feeling, even though they have toured under the boy genius name Plenty. Uh, they also appeared to on the Haley Williams album a couple of years ago, but lo and behold, here we are with their uh, full-length debut album under the Boy Genius name, and leading up to it, they were dropping some pretty heavenly singles. Let's chat about this thing. This album starts off with Without You, Without Them, and Honest to God, this is exactly what I showed up for. Four. This is a divine opening. It's pretty short and sweet, but it is all about harmonies, baby. It is where I like hearing these three the most, and this track has just such an old-school beauty to it. It just makes me really happy. Emily, I'm sorry. To me, this is track of the album. It's probably going to be one of my favorite singles of the year. This track is unbelievable. This is a Phoebe Bridgers mostly led jam with some acoustic strumming and a very intense lyrical performance. And while quiet, this track really packs a punch in many other other ways. The chorus here is absolutely stunning. Once again, these harmonies, ladies, we do not deserve any of you. I, I mean, as far as just an emotionally packed uh, track, I honestly have not heard anything this stunning in quite some time. It's awesome. I really love True Blue as well. I mean, there are so many unique flavors to this album, depending on which uh, of Boy Genius are leading the track. Like this, to me, comes off as an overly decent Lucy Dacus track. It's pensive, it takes its time, and by the time that this chorus rolls around every time, it's just such a great emotional release. I hear tracks like this, and then I'm just reminded instantly of just how potent the indie sound still is when done right, and this is done right. And the personal lyrics and the harmonies are just icing on the cake. They are beautiful. Also, for one of the longest tracks here, it is not drawn out at all. It's pretty immaculate. And Not Strong Enough was the first track on this album that I truly fell in love with. This track is unbelievable. I love the passion here, the driving riff, the sort of hazy atmosphere, the production on this track. I just really love some of the tricks they pull off. This has all the makings of like a really great classic 90s jam that was like forgotten by time but rediscovered. It's great. This hook is absolutely unbelievable, and Julian, Lucy, and Phoebe have never sounded more in sync. It ends up being a damn anthem, and the final minute of material here is absolutely epic. Now, uh, uh, don't, don't hate me here, because I know that this has been a life-changing album for many a fan of Boy Genius, but I do worry that there are times on this album where things get a little bit faceless. Sorry? Like... I don't get what the big hype is about $20. Uh, I think this is one of the more straightforward tracks here, and that's not very much of a good thing. I mean, it's not bad, not even anything close, but this could have been any who's who of indie singer-songwriters. Like, there are so many more charismatic tracks on this album that show Lucy and Phoebe and Julian really playing off each other a lot better than this. It's okay in my book, but it's a little overhyped. And cool about it doesn't do it for me at all. I actually think it's probably my least favorite track on the album. I mean, on its surface, it's genuinely sweet and heartfelt. That is not my issue. My issue is, once again, this is pretty faceless. I mean, I hate to be that guy, but this sounds like it could have been any indie singer-songwriter. Again. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this track as far as lyrics go. As a matter of fact, it's gorgeous. I don't know. I just want something a little bit more bold. Uh, Leonard Cohen, also, this track is not bad. As a matter of fact, there's portions to it that I really do enjoy quite a bit. Um, I just wanted a lot more of it. Like, I actually really love Lucy's performance on this track. It's passionate. It's energetic. It's got a little oomph to it. But why is this such an incomplete thought? And we're in love. I hate to be that guy once again. But this is on the faceless side. Like, there are so many moments on this album that are beautifully textured. 
passionately performed, unbelievably well put together, and the charisma between these three play off each other really nicely, but then we get a track like this. It's almost five minutes long, it sounds like it's pulling teeth, and I just, I can't remember the first thing about it by the end of it. Uh, I mean, it's okay, but that's, I just, I expect so much more because they can offer so much more. They do so with the rest of the album. Like Revelation O, oh, this track is unbelievable. This is a gorgeous ballad with some almost Midwest emo vibes thrown in. It is so warm and sweet and charming. I mean, this album obviously wears its heart on its sleeve, it really speaks to you, uh, but it's done in a really, really charming way. PB just sounds unbelievable, and when this track turns into this formless, almost psychedelic track in the second half, it's a completely different monster, and I love it. Then we have Satanist. I mean, shit, man, I love this. I love the crunchy riff that we get here, the little energy as well. The performance is all rather determined, there's some really nice nods to alternative rock, just like some real classic alternative rock, especially in the second half, and I don't care if I'm repeating myself at this point, because these harmonies are to die for, you're welcome. Yeah, the hype in this case is absolutely real, Anti-Curse is really great too. Between the hypnotic riff, Julian's vocals, and the pacing here, my god, this is to die for. This is magical to me, and the hazy production, once again, is done really, really well. And every time this chorus rolls around and those drums crash in, I just want to belt it out. My God, this is the sound right here. And Letter to an Old Poet as a finale is gorgeous. I mean, I feel bad that I've been more negative towards the softer side of this album. Didn't mean for it to be that way, but clearly with this finale, they can pull it off and do it well, because this track is unbelievable. This track is so freaking intense. Visually, it is one of the strongest lyrical performances on this album, and I love the way that the ladies' harmonies just pierce through everything in this very bleak, quiet instrumental. It is a fantastic finale. So, this album is a very solid, very overly, very overly solid indie rock and singer-songwriter album, but I don't feel like it's resonating as much with me as it is with some others, because there are, there are people that lives are being changed by this album right now. Not as much for me. There are some faceless moments here that are a little upsetting, and uh, to be quite frank, there's some moments that I kind of wish I was listening to the EP from a few years ago, but still, there are, the harmonies are to die for, the performances are great, and the chemistry between these three, you don't see that too often, and done so well for that matter. There's some great risks taken as well. I just wish that, you know, some of the ballads were as drawn out and not as interesting as some of the other tracks here, but still, this is an overly decent album with so much going for it. The hype is certainly real. Feeling a strong 7 on this album, but let me know what you all think down below. If you like the video, be sure to give us a like, give us a subscribe, and let me know down below what you would like for me to chat about in the future. And until next time, have a great day, friends.